So, couple things. Oh, sorry, another question? Yes. Is there, is there a plan to uh, replicate that in other areas as well? The whole thing about putting more parts around. Well, that's part of what we're looking at here. And I don't park too. There aren't any plans underway to add new parklands in the Bronx, but the Parks Department and its Parklands Acquisition Program is always looking for spaces that could serve the community in a park capacity. We can talk offline about it. I would say, I would also add that as a part of this process, we want to think about the existing parks and is there a need for a new park here? Yeah. So, go th what's the no, I'm talking about this study this, here. This, yeah, yeah, part of this study. So, yes, another question? What about security wise? Security. Um, well, I mean, there's different challenges. We're living in New York, New York City, so, right? So I don't think it's any more or less dangerous than anywhere else in the city. So we're going to move on to locations three and four on your map. So again, so I'll let Lee sort of talk about what we're going, what sort of the focus is with those three locations. But again, I want people continue to think about. So we're in Malali now. Think about not only the parks but the connections to the parks, how you walk and access them. That's also an important part of this process. So think about that as we kind of walk and tour the area. I need to say something when you talk about. Um, I live up the hill there, but you're talking about making it more upscale. Um, there's a great need for more parks enforcement. Okay, that's I, that's an absolute. So, so, what do you mean by enforcement? What do you mean by? Well, I'm saying that even in the summertime. When they're cooking out everywhere and the trees okay, are yes. being killed okay. and they're dying because of the colds, when you start talking about improving the area, okay. then you need some type of extra. Okay. The police yes. will come into yes. the, the police can for enforcement. Right. So uh, we have to depend on PEP officers, our PEP park enforcement, enforcement police. Force, right. okay. And we don't have many. We okay. don't have okay. any Bronx as any here, Central yeah. Park has all by itself. Okay. Also for this location, as vehicles are coming from Edward L. Grant, as they're making a turn to come here, they they don't have a warning sign to tell them that there's a car coming when they get to this point. So a green sign is all the way here. There's a residential area over there, and the train is over there at 170th Street. And so if people are coming down this street or whatever, and then heading down 170th Street, so. So they're not, this isn't like a natural movement to come here and then cross this crosswalk and then down there. It's, they, these people actually just went across here and they go through the island here. So. And this traffic has no signal. Right, exactly. So they don't slow down, they don't see the Right. This apartment was first built at a horticulture area, but a lot of that has gone. It's all gone. So now it's sort of just a, an open space waiting for some creative ideas. There are challenges here. Um, we do have a lot of transient folks in the neighborhood who come here and sleep overnight. Some use it as a restroom. So, you know, in terms of cleanliness, those are some of the challenges. What was the question? Sorry, can you repeat your question? No, I was just curious when it was said that it was an issue that this park had in terms of, like, um, you know, what plans might be, yeah, changes, um, that there was a transient population here. I was curious if that was something that, like, the Parks Department was explicitly, like, taking into their um, program, or if that was just noted as something well, I think to that, I think part of the reason that we're, yeah, I, so what you're saying is that transient population is an issue in this park? Well, that's what like you that. were saying, that that presents a unique planning circuit, like, uh, situation here, so I didn't know well, like, how that usually... Well, in terms of the mind-backing, it's maintenance, so okay. in terms of the maintenance, it does provide for, um, who could be a challenge in certain respects. In terms of planning, um, Christina would have to sort of talk to you about how do you plan... I mean, it's a system, yeah. transient is a systemic issue that needs to be addressed by multiple agencies, yeah. so that's the approach that DCP is taking with all of us. So in terms of operations, when I come in, I have folks who are in the park, I, I try to help them assistance or I call the social services connection that I have and I tell them that we have a group here and they'll come out and walk them help but if they say well, I'm fine I don't need help there's not much anyone can do. This is a playground uh, called Jenny Jerome Playground. Um, it was created, all of these little parcels around here were created in the 1950s because the area was condemned to build the Cross Bronx Expressway. So all of these little areas uh, a lot of them were acquired by planning and parklands by the Department of Parks and Recreation. 
and some of them are different different areas have different uses so there's a set of handball courts that one of the uh, parcels across the street and this one obviously is more for children and uh, playground equipment the last investment that was done here was in 2000 again under Giuliani and it was an upgrade to the playground equipment and some of the um, pavement and surfacing I also have a question about health. Uh, yeah. you know, so you have this park right next to the highway. Right. And yeah. you have cars traveling every single day, all day, through this area. And you have the Bronx, which is like the most asthmatic area in the country. Uh -huh. So is there any plan to really make a difference on that? Because these kids are going to be here growing up in this area that's going to be heavily residential. So that's pollution abatement, is so that you question, have to right? Green this park. Okay. Yeah, more green. Bushes, grass. You have to make it a green space and all this asphalt. Yeah, we need more dioxide. green spaces altogether for that pollution abatement. Yeah. yeah. So what is the what is the proposal on the city planning uh, uh, aspect of that? We don't have a for for any of these topic areas. We don't have a proposal, which is we're why here we're sort of out proposal. here today to really begin to talk about. And you know, we are. I mean, obviously, we're aware of the uh, the high asthma rates and the air quality in this neighborhood in the Bronx overall. So we know about that. So, but as part of a plan, we'll, we'll need to take that into consideration and figure out ways that we may be able to, you know, um, you know, address some of those issues, green the space. But there's no there's no plan again. There's no plan for any aspect of this study right now. We are at the very beginning, sort of talking collectively as a group and generating ideas. And how long has this, has this study been going on for, like the, the planning stage of it? We have just... We the second public event, so... Yeah, so... <laughs> uh, and then there, there was no time prior to that, that the city was uh, sitting at the table and brainstorming this? We started what? We started officially in September? Yeah. In September. I think up until now it's been more about coordinating all the agencies that have to be involved. The planning is beginning Come through here, walk through this neighborhood now. and rezone it. This neighborhood has been like this for about 20, 30, 40 years. Because you have people on rezone this neighborhood. You're walking through here talking about what park is going on and what park is going on. Make sure you should have been walking through here years ago. Why, why it took a year to rezone this neighborhood to come walk through here and do a study now? This study should have been years ago. And this neighborhood has been like this for uh, countless years. That's what makes this whole thing is like, you know, I, I want to keep going on about this. But it's, it's a whole thing for like 10 years. And I recall that last week, last week, last week, someone asked you how long this was going on for, the study stage of it, the planning stage of it. Someone told me that you said four years prior to this. Well, I'll, tell, I'll explain that. Let me explain that. So, In the back in the in board four um board four sobro we had an opportunity to apply i'm sorry what's so bro so bro board bronx. four no i'm sorry what is that Versus? south bronx, south bronx. South bronx. South bronx. Overall south bronx. Development is that a new name no no, no. You, should, no you should google it google it so bro yeah google it who, 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 who came up with that concept with that it name? is an organization it's a non-profit organization we've been there about 25 years yes. their office is at 149th street and third avenue yeah Okay. That's the, the neighborhood, the hub called Sobro. The, the community is called Sobro? Yeah. No, 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 the organization. The organization. Oh, okay. So yeah, organize and look, over okay. and look after the well-being for the community and the uh, uh, life issues that they take over yeah. the building. So they're, not, they're not looking up for no end. You guys got to remember. You, I, I want you, you to, I don't know your name, I want you to remember too. This is our community. We are, you, you walk through here, you want participation for the people of this neighborhood and we're giving it to you. So when this guy's asking you questions, you answer him like a gentleman. Don't be condescending to him. I'm, Remember that. This is I'm our sorry community. I've, I've appeared Remember that. that. I'm, not, I'm this, sorry. This, if we I'm we live here. I'm trying to answer his question. Yes, so, about, live here, so you got to show yes, some respect to the brothers. So, so do we, dude. We live here. here. There are other people who live well, here. We are here for real. We are out here alone walking tour. We all know what's going on. But come on walking tour. You did 10 years ago walk through here. Come why why are you going to rezone this We've been now. here. We've been here. We were here last week. Now. We're Ten here today. Good. 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 Right. It's, it's, it's all messed up around here. Everybody poor around here. That's, that's, that's my problem. I should have been walking through here doing this study 10 years ago. This is like y'all building new, new neighborhoods and new buildings to come through here and do this now. That's why it's, 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 it's just so much bullshit. What y'all doing now is totally bullshit. I'm, I'm totally against all this shit. Yeah, why does it take a new why does it take a why does it take a new neighborhood? My, all my friends and my family grew up here and I live here. And I'm very emotional about it. Why does it take I see a, the city changing? I told you exactly. I see the city changing. Why is it's it why does it take a new neighborhood? Are you crazy? 
New York City is crazy expensive. Why is it take? Here no more, right? Moving out the neighborhood. Why does it take a new neighborhood oh. to really, really do what I needs to be done in this community? I, I no, excuse question. me. Let me just finish. Oh, it takes a, it takes a new neighborhood. It takes right new neighbors to build a community. Why isn't it that that priority is there since the beginning? Since the people of this of this area have been struggling ever since Robert Moses and his blueprint architectural plan to destroy the community of this area when he puts in Cross Bronx Expressway and he puts a Bruckner Boulevard, right? Yep. So why isn't it that the priority was done back then when the Bronx was burning? Why is it that it takes about 50, 60 years to get now to this point where we're building a new community? Who, who in this community said, I want to create a Carmel Jerome? No one in this community is saying that. When we're talking to people right now, which was should have, which excuse me, which was should have been done before, right? Y'all should have been coming out here talking to people in the street like we're doing. That's why we got this. That's why we're telling people what's going on because what's going on here is gonna mess things up for us, you right? Think? And I think yes, and I do think that. Say you know why? How. You know why? Okay. So this whole plan, right, is set up in a way to to complement De Blasio's affordable housing plan, right? Right. No, so well, actually, it started plan, before yes, De Blasio. Yes. So. so his plan is being incorporated into this project, right? So when you look at his plan, what is it set up? 20% is going to low income of affordable housing, quote unquote, right? 30% is going to middle income, and 50% is going to market rate housing, right? But when you look at this community, half of this community is extremely low income. So you're gonna tell me that 50% of this community is gonna be fighting for 8%? of affordable housing in this community. So you tell me who is gonna be here after this Cromwell Jerome is built? You tell me that. Who's gonna be here living to enjoy what's going on in this community? Because yes, I want better parks, right? I want better uh, uh, pedestrian walkways. I want better transportation, right? But if you're, gonna if you're gonna build it at the expense of extremely low income people in this community, then you're doing an injustice to the people here. You're doing an injustice to the people who are living here, who have struggled to be here for generations, who have struggled, who are living on low wage jobs. The jobs here are crazy, like the brother was saying. Yeah. Why is it that we're, pay we're being paid seven, eight dollars to live here and we don't even have enough to, pay to afford this affordable housing plan that Mayor de Blasio is proposing? Okay, so wait, part of what you're saying, and it's an important part, because we've all been talking about it for years in this neighborhood, is that the usual formula for affordable housing is useless, it's useless here. It's useless. So that's part of what we have to say to anybody doing the planning here. You tell me that I can make 80% of your average median income, and frankly, I could go to Westchester. working on this plan is don't bring me your 80-20 crap because it's not going to work or 50, 30, 20. here. Or 50-30-20. Yeah, or 50-30-20, even that, because our average median income has no relationship to the standard metropolitan statistical right. area's standard median income, right. which includes New Jersey and Connecticut and Westchester right. County and all that stuff that's irrelevant here, where we're making seven twenty-five an hour. Right. So that's a part, that's a huge part of your input, and you have to say it to all the people who are responsible, to Carol, to Paul, to everybody here who represents any agency keep saying that that formula for affordable housing does not help us we want affordable housing but we want it to be really be affordable, affordable. Right. We're going to do figure out refinancing for 30 percent ami because right now low-income families seniors cannot even apply for the lottery because that's it's right, low. right. So it's not affordable we can't afford the affordable housing right. in this neighborhood that's because right. the formula is ridiculous right. and inappropriate but that's why i have a proposal for the formula that what you should do because you, i agree with you because westchester has what well, that messes up the, the, the whole yeah. income thing yeah. what they should do with the 59 community board boards in the city they should index the the um, actual ami income? to the actual income of the neighborhood that makes so sense this way sure will the mayor people, do that? right we'll have a different uh, income ratio as for what what, what the attachment area of community board four community yep. board five is yep. but that's what i propose in community board three but doesn't do that no de blasio does not do that that's why we need to be telling these people what we're proposing is something even more than that what we're not saying we're not saying adjust to ami only what we're saying is that this city needs to build public housing immediately immediately because once you build public housing you completely stall gentrification because there's no way to put those apartments on 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 the market uh -huh. if you take the apart apartments off the market you're, you're 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 contributing to keeping this community here with dignity so when you when you create public housing why is it that his affordable housing plan costs 41 billion dollars 
right? $41 billion. You can't put that money into public housing. You can't create public housing for these people here, right? Why can't you do that? Why can't the city do that? Why isn't the Blasio doing that? Why isn't the executive director of the Department of City Planning? Why is she saying that she wants to integrate communities with income, integrate income, right? And I have no problem with bringing in middle class people in here. But what's, what's, what's wrong with getting poor people to move up into the middle class? Or, or, or giving no, us the resources the that we need? I, I why, why is that our priority? I want to say something. Hi, everybody. Hi. Um, you know, I, I sometimes feel that, you know, you know, I understand the passions. I've been angry before, you know. Angry but what we really need to understand is that, you know, in this democracy that we live in, believe it or not, democracy is that's a lie. I'm talking. No, 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 excuse me, that's a lie. You're gonna say but democracy. Let him finish. Let him finish. We're both educated brothers, you know. Right, whatever ahead. you want to call it, autonomy, whatever you want to call this. Plutocracy is what it is. So, plutocracy, but this is a democracy. At the end of the day, there are people that still believe in this country. But what needs to happen, you know, we need people like the gentleman here at the table. We need people like, like the city department at the table. And definitely we need to be at the table because at the end of the day, we're all stakeholders here. People want to come and develop. People see economic development. And sometimes, you know, there's always this fear mongering that economic development, you know, is always Equals against. The G word. Is always, you know. <laughs> well, it, it don't work. We see it happen in Harlem already. No, but let me I give, let me give an example. It, it don't help poor people. So what happened? Everybody in this area is poor people. But the thing is, but the I thing said, is. That's, that's, that's the question. But my, my listen, I'm, believe me, brother. Believe me, I so know. So how do you get around that? Not, My thing is that we need to be, start a trend. Well, the, well, trend, we, we, the trend we need to start in this community is, you know, that everybody needs to be a stakeholder in the community because there's some people that just completely ignore what he's saying. There's some people that really, you know, are not educated on economic development as we are. And we are all educated folks here. So what we need to do is, you know, we have to put, you know, like Quincy Jones said, check your ego at the door. And really, just you know what? This is what this is the reality. Well, tell, tell the relief in the city because the brother asked the question. Tell him to Google it. She, she represents the city. I no, represent the neighborhood. But I know, I know. The neighborhood, the neighborhood know. makes the city. Remember that. I, I, I understand. I understand, that. I understand. But the thing is that we got to check our ego and our thing. And well, this, our this is not about ego, brother. This is not about ego, right? Don't even tell me that. Don't excuse me. Don't even tell me that's about ego. You know what? You know what it is? No, no, no. Excuse me. You know what it is? You know what me? You know my reaction is to? I understand. You know my reaction is to poverty, brother. No, listen to me. Poverty was my reaction. Okay, I'm responding brother, to listen. an, an neglect. I neglect. Brother, I neglect. Me, no, listen. no, no, excuse me, because right now you, we're not seeing eye to eye, so don't call me brother right now, listen, all right? Listen, what I'm right. telling you is this. We've been neglected for decades. We've been neglected for centuries. Because and so all of a sudden, no, excuse me, all of a sudden, when you want to bring in rich investors, when you want to bring in the real estate brokers with the money, that's when it becomes a community. Brother, Why isn't it a community before that? I Why are we not being prioritized? So, this is not a democracy. So a democracy is speaking? when the majority of people in this community have a, are directing and leading the so process. Gonna, that I'm is not a process. You have to process. But that is not it's, it's, make it's that happen. Listen, 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 top down. Listen, listen, top down. Listen to me. You're not looking listen. at the top. I'm not, I'm not no, arguing. But they're, they're this is not the top. Towards. Who here said they want Carmo Jerome? I am, I'm going to give you an example. I'm not arguing with you. Listen. But I'm telling I, you what I'm telling you. I understand what I'm saying. You've got to check your it's condescending to say that it's ego. We're fucking poor. We're fucking here, and no one fucking remembers that we're here. So all of a sudden, when you want to bring in rich people to well, come into our community, and then you all say that I have a fucking ego? I'm a man. Wait, I'm, 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 wait what is the matter? I'm not about that. I'm, I'm, I'm a medicate. I'm a medicate. Listen. This is what it is. The reality is, is that everyone's poor. Everyone's trying to struggle. I'm a I'm from community boy five. I'm from community farm. You're not doing a good job. I leave. I leave. You're not doing a good job at all. I live right here, and you live over here. We are neighbors. What I'm trying, my point is, I'm not trying to convey is that we have to communicate ourselves in a civilized way. When you raise your tone on top of other people, when other person talking, it's not good. It's hard. I agree. I agree. I agree with that. That's what I'm not saying. Let me speak. Yes. You being neighbor, you live here. You're neighbors. That should just, that should be even more of a reason to listen and understand the frustration, the anger, which is justified. It is not about I agree ego. With you. It is not about ego. It's not That's about true. being civilized. That. All right? Because that calling people saying that we have to talk in a civilized manner. You live here. I understand. You live here. I understand That's the, the frustration is that we, a community, are not talking about our community as a, a, a community that we are the redevelopment. Okay, this, this is, the, I agree with you, and I feel your pain. But let me put it this way. We have to look at the thing, the way they're happening. If you notice that uh, for 50 years, as you mentioned, things have not been done, but every time you have a new administration. So 
uh, what, what was supposed to be 10 years ago was not done. But the guy that didn't do his job is not here. Now we have a new guy. At least this guy comes in and he is. You guys are saying. Let me put it this way. When this guy comes in, he comes in with the plan. We are, that's what we're here for. We're studying the plan that they're trying to, 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 to show to us, that they bring in the plan. We are studying, we are listening, we're trying to see how this is going to impact our neighborhood. So I agree with you and I understand what you're saying. Yes, I understand what you're saying. And then I'm listening. It's not, it's helping. And it, you are 100% right. The, the, uh, the, the people that live here cannot afford those affordable housing that they're coming here because the way that they put the threshold, the threshold that they have is 42,000 to above. It's too high. Is it that they're doing In the Bronx right now, the median income is about, the highest is about 21, 21,000. A regular okay, person so, is so making 17,000. Mayor said that he will not lower it. Did you just say that? You, 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 you were just said to me? I, I, I'm trying to build a community. In these neighborhoods. I have friends who are trying to actively build. Because it's a nice place you, to do live. You, do you know Shouldn't we all have a condominium, though? That's what he's saying. Be the man who owns or builds the condominium. Why don't you be the person who builds it, though? As the person in the community. Why not go that route? But there's no housing for us, but you could build a condominium. I'm going to build a condominium. I think that's going to build a condominium. I would back up. My point is that there are people. Yes. When you see opportunities in the community. He doesn't want to be on camera. Let the people keep their home. We don't want Cromwell Jerome. Let the people keep their home. We don't want Cromwell Jerome. Let the people keep their home. We don't want Cromwell Jerome. Let the people keep their home. We don't want Cromwell Jerome. We just want a decent camp. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I've been hearing the whole time. So, in the process of the community, why is it handed down to us at the top? It's fine. Why is that? Why is it? Why is it that when I asked the question about parks earlier, like, and then you say, oh, uh, there's no plan for it, and then, I mean, you should know this, you're studying it, you've been studying it for the last four years. You said that last week. No, we have to no. What are you talking about? No, we're not that No, because, yeah. I'm not going to argue. Also, you don't want to argue. You don't want, you don't want to I, I get that you're passionate, but at the, at the same time, I'm passionate about the study. I live in community. I'm a resident of the same so so then you so, should know I, the I affordable do. housing plan is not I absolutely know that but here's the thing we haven't been studying this before we've been looking at this neighborhood yes we wanted to study very the common this and this happens all throughout the city the housing plan gave us an opportunity and an opportunity to look at this neighborhood both community to explore and community five people have been asking us to look at this neighborhood so what is the affordable housing plan for us we have, we have it to be seen. It, we have a table. Like, help well, us define it. Out. No, 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 no,
is going to be turned into the ice skating rink, right? It's going to be the world's largest ice skating center in the world. Now you tell me this, who in this community ice skates? Who in this community plays hockey? Well, ask so, me in five years. Well, in five years, right? But then who's going to be here for that? Here's what I want to say. We want to meet with your group. We want to we hear what your concerns are. We'll meet with you. I mean, included in the public process, we want to meet with your group to find out. But what we your... want the power to determine what this community will be. And that power will not be there when you have the city of planning, the department city planning, directing the process. That's not a community process. That is a, a top-down process. You have to admit that. Once you change that and you switch it so that the community here well, how is would you, in how the leadership. Would you, how would you suggest that the process go? Who, who? Well, well, we have to organize everybody here, the workers, the tenants, the, the, the students, the youth, the we're elderly. We have to organize. No, 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 not engaged. Not, I'm not saying engaged. I'm saying organize. Organize people so that they take leadership and popular control of their community. So that the tenants, are, the tenants are owning their own buildings. So the workers are owning their own workplace. Okay. So the students are owning their school. Okay. That's that what we're proposing. That's okay. nothing to do with your own. That should have been happening no, that, all along. It should have been happening all along. Yeah. But is, is that being considered? I don't think so. So that needs to be changed. Wait, who okay. should be doing that organizing? Oh, the people here should be organizing themselves here in this community. How does this relate to the Cromwell Jerome? Cromwell Jerome is coming in with the top town process and it's handed to us. Okay, here. How here's... about handing them a bottom up okay. process? Well, it should have been from the bottom up in the first place. That's what you're trying to do. So now. if, if the city, right, Bring if the city okay. can provide the resources for us, we could do I that. Think we have but a lot more in common than you realize. Yeah. 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 I want to talk no, with you. I don't think so. Yeah. I disagree. We want to talk with you. Oh no, I, I think there's more than you. Well, I don't think so, because if you're, if, you're, if you're incorporating the affordable housing plan that de Blasio is putting in, you're going to okay. destroy this community.